and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you for clicking onto this video I hope you click that subscribe button as well I have another haul for you and it's from a company called AX Paris surprisingly I've never actually bought anything from there I have had a browse on there before and they have quite some nice like occasion dresses which is the reason why I had to go on the site because I have actually got a black tie event coming up really soon and I have nothing appropriate that isn't slutty so I needed to find something and I've never really done the whole ball gown like long dress thing so I thought I would try it out in this video and they had a lot of uh, nice dresses to be fair so I think I've got about four or five dresses that I bought everything was also reasonably priced considering I'm hoping that because it was reasonably priced the quality isn't going to reflect that like I hope it's still going to be decent quality like I said I've never bought from them before so this is the first impression on literally everything so let's just get straight into the video okay so this is dress number one this is going to be very awkward to film because you can't see the bottom but it is like full length and as you can see it's also got a slit on the side surprisingly it's not actually that long i'm five foot two and it surprisingly isn't as like drowning as much as i thought it was gonna be i'd probably bring it just slightly up if i was to pick this one just so that it's just touching the floor but then again if i was to wear heels that probably would do it i don't know when i put on this dress i don't feel like amazing does that make sense like i don't really feel that comfortable in it i just kind of feel like Ugh, I don't know if that makes sense. I just don't feel my best wearing it. I do like that it has a little off the shoulder. I do like the slit. I feel like I have to have a slit, especially because of my height. I feel like with all length dresses, full length dresses, I need that just so that I don't look drenched. Stretchy material, I could have probably maybe gone a size down. I did get everything in a size 10. So I could have probably sized down slightly. I mean it's not a bad little dress and you like like simplicity. The material is also um it's not see-through. Hmm we'll have to see but at the moment it's kind of like this. Okay so this is the second dress. I definitely prefer this one a lot more to the first one. We're gonna have to ignore these little taggy things because these hang up things annoy me i would definitely have to chop them off because i'm not even sure where you're meant to tuck them in oh, where is my nipple i don't think there would be a risk of seeing any nipple slip in this yeah i much prefer this one and i don't know why again the length surprisingly isn't bad on me it's like i'm trying to get as far as away as you can but it's literally just touching the floor like it's just slightly on the floor so if I was to wear heels it would be like the perfect height which I'm so surprised about because that's like literally one of the reasons I like stay away from these kind of dresses because the models are like five foot eight and I'm obviously five foot two and it fits them perfectly so yeah I like the little mesh detail and I like the back of this as well like I just feel like it gives a little extra of something. So this is what it looks like with the little mesh detail. But yeah, I'm really liking this one. This could potentially be a winner. We're only on dress two. It's like a stretchy material. It's enough to suck me in, but it's not so that it's uncomfortable. That makes sense. I can still move in this. I also don't feel like the slit is a too high or too in the middle you know how some slits just seem to be so open and you're flashing everywhere yeah i don't have to worry with this one yeah i'm not gonna have a nip slip this has a lot of potential okay unfortunately this dress has come with a hole in it but i'll ignore the fact that it has the hole and just focus on the dress and um, it's a very kind of bog standard dress i did kind of get it as a backup in case I didn't like any of the like fancier dresses. It's not the word I'm looking for, but like the maxi dresses that I, I never go for. Like this is a style that I would 100% wear all the time. It's bodycon, it's just below the knee on me. And what is this style called? I wanna say it begins with R. I don't know, but it basically makes your bum look good. So it's a win-win. It also has adjustable strap. I just can't be bothered to adjust it for me because it does have a hole in it. So I will be returning. But yeah, it's a very nice dress. If it didn't have a hole in it, I would probably keep it in general just to wear to dinner or something because it's a very easy dress to just throw on when you really don't know what to wear. And I love those kind <laughs> of dresses. I'm not uncomfortable in it. I can still move in. It's I'm not feeling like restricted or anything like that. I really like how my figure is in this one though. So I might actually just have to ask for it 
non 40 because I am actually kind of liking this one. I think we're on the fourth dress now, right? I've, I've lost count. But this is this dress. <laughs> Instantly when I put it on, I just didn't like it. I don't know what it is about this dress. But I think it's the feel. It's that type of material that I can only describe as like tissue paper. You know the tissue paper that you get in like school? And it's like multicolored and used to make flour. Like that's what it reminds me of. So as you can see, like it the, comes like the frill is literally on my knee. And this is what it looks like up close. I don't, it's even like this part I'm not really a fan of. And like it's just like backless. This is the reason why I kind of got it. It's because I love the like backless dresses i just find them so sexy which is weird to think a back is sexy but you know what i mean i just think like showing your back can be quite hot but yeah i'm just really not feeling this dress it's not to be fair it's not a bad dress you're all covered here and i feel like if i was to move without boob tape like i don't have to worry about a nip falling out or anything like that obviously if you're a bit big chested i don't know how it would work i've never experience that but if you're on the smaller side you wouldn't have to worry about your nip showing it's not uncomfortable in the neck either like i know how some things when you tie it around the neck can be quite uncomfortable this one isn't so to be fair it isn't a bad dress i'm just not feeling it personally just due to the material type okay on to the final dress and unfortunately we are ending on not a high note because yeah i don't know if it's because of my lack of titties or it's because I could have sized down. I mean, I could definitely have sized down in this dress, but I am very conscious that this is going to keep falling down. It does have like some sort of like rubber material around the edge, I guess, to try help stay up. It, it isn't doing anything. I, if I was to move a little bit too much, I will be flashing everyone. I did think this would be a lot more see-through than what it actually is. I am wearing bright pink bikini bottoms. I did just say bikini bottoms. I couldn't find any underwear, so I wore bikini bottoms, but that's just my life. MS. But yeah, so I don't know how it's showing. Like, I can't see the viewfinder from here, so I can't see if the light shining on it. You can see my bright pink underwear, but in the mirror, I can't see it. So it's actually not as see through as I thought it would be. Also, it is an itchy material. It isn't like that kind of like. You know when it's like sequin or certain types of glitter, it can just be irritable on your arms and everything. This isn't that type of glitter. And also it's not really coming off on my hands. No, the length is... It's just... It's like midway in my shin. So it's a midi dress. But you can see the kind of style of like how the glitter is. And it has got a little structured bit here as well, like that bone thing what it's called maybe if, if i've got sized down maybe that's just my error but it's just not working for me so that is everything that i got from ax paris i'm actually really pleasantly surprised okay some of the dresses weren't a bit of me due to personal preference and okay one was um 40 if it wasn't it was a decent dress but i am actually really pleasantly surprised and especially with the length of dresses i don't know why i always thought that maxi dresses would drown me honestly if i had just wear a pair of heels they were the perfect length so if you're like on the smaller size like me five foot two honestly go and try out their dresses i do feel like i will probably go with the mesh dress though i don't know why i just really liked it but let me know in the comments down below which dresses that you think look the best or if you think jazz honestly you can do better go elsewhere but as a whole with ax paris i'm actually really impressed with the shop in itself the material was it wasn't like thin it was definitely good quality the styles were nice i would say they were very true to what the models were again true to size i would definitely be checking out more stuff from there so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and i shall see you next time bye